There are two ways to restore your iPad from a backup. You can restore your iPad with iCloud or restore your iPad with iTunes. To restore your iPad with iTunes, you'll need the Mac or PC that you last synced with your iPad and the USB to iPad cable that came with your iPad. First, connect the iPad with the cable to the computer. The iPad can only sync wirelessly, not be restored wirelessly. Now you need to open iTunes. Now you need to select which backup to restore from. The top name listed is always the most recent backup. The most recent backup here is Danny. After selecting it, click continue. Restoring an iPad from backup contains two stages. The first stage reinstalls your backup files, settings, plus all your app user files. The second stage syncs all your apps, music, TV shows, podcasts, books, and movies back onto your device. This whole process can take several hours, depending on how much is being transferred. You'll need to leave your computer on with iTunes open and will not be able to use your iPad until stage one is complete. Only those who have iOS 5 or above installed will be able to use their iPad during stage two. If you just got a new iPad or replaced your iPad with Apple, then you have a version of iOS that you're able to use during stage two. Now that stage one is complete, your iPad may receive any missed email or iMessages it received during stage one. It's safe to look and read them during stage two with iOS 5 or above. Please be aware that old content and apps may still be missing, but will automatically reappear during stage two of the restore process. Restoring should maintain all your content, apps, folders, and even the location of the apps on each page on your iPad. After iTunes has finished syncing, the restore process is complete, and your new iPad is ready and should look almost identical to your old one. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other tutorials at a56.com or on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash a56 2178.